pestilence. These are in the last days. I am the host of the show, RPI, Radio Pastor Isaac. And it's an hour long show coming from 7 to 8 p.m., giving you biblical information coming from the Word of God. And I tell you, we're going to have a really good show today. Really good show today. Y'all have a new theme music. Got to tell you about that later. Amen. I'm excited about being here. And, um, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's been a minute. Amen. Got to turn that down a little bit. Got a little problem with, uh, Facebook. You know, last time I did my show, um, they saying, you know, uh, what they was telling me that say, well, Mr. RPI, um, let me take this off here because we ain't doing no. They were saying RPI, uh, we are not, um, you know, your music violate rights of Warner Brothers. That's the message I got before, you know, either be, my show either being blocked or being banned. Um, kind of funny that I had that song for almost four months now. You know, that's the funny part. I had that show. I mean, not show. I had that music almost uh, about, about, about what, five or six months. And all of a sudden, Facebook say they have a problem with me um saying I violate some uh, Warner Brother rights with the music if I want to dispute it. So they canceled out my whole show. Everybody was texting me, hey, RPI, uh, I think they didn't cut the show off. We don't see you no more. Um, really, <laughs> really got a lot of those going on. Hey, my sister Mary Hannah, I, that's one of my, uh, one of my, my most, 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 most popular listeners. She always listens to, always support me. And she was like, Mary, uh, uh Mary Hannah said, uh, uh, RPI, uh, I, I think they, um, <laughs> I think they, they, uh, cut you off. They say, uh, unavailable. And, um, as the more and more, and I started to do it, the more I found out that they did, uh, cut my show. Um, I guess I'm in this, uh, Facebook jail thing now where they are really watching me, what I'm saying. Uh, I've been posting stuff for the last few weeks. They've been taking my post down, saying this is uh this and that and all that. And you know, and everybody, you know, oh, it's all right, but you know, that's fine. I, I don't have no problem with that because that's showing me that if if these if biggest Facebook is and all the billions of people that is on there and they getting lit on me because I'm preaching the truth, man, that means I am doing my job. That means I am sharing the gospel. That means that the angels in heaven is happy because I am offending them and I'm offending with the truth. So that's why I had to change my theme. They're going to probably come up and say, well, you can't use that music, even though this radio station, WC 99.9 have all the rights to all music. I don't have to get on the radio. You know, everybody say that I don't own the rights. This radio station do own the rights because we pay money every month to play any kind of music. Uh, thank God I don't play uh, the world of music, but Cause that ain't what you know about, but we have right to play any music for his movies or anything. But and I put that WC ninety nine point nine on my Facebook page, but they always find a way to kind of beat me down, which is fine. I don't that gets me excited, but I got some exciting news to tell you guys. Um, it's it's really it's really a blessing. Um, but before I get started, I'm gonna tell you a couple ways that you can listen to us. One way, if you are in the North Augusta, I mean North Augusta, where well, if you're in North Augusta, or New Ellington or Augusta, Georgia, you are listening to me on WCC 99.9, not AM, but FM. Um, this is a radio station of the Voice of Truth, Church Without Walls. And right now, we need to knock all the walls down because the churches ain't putting nothing but sugar-coated, feel-good sermons, which I'm going to get in that later. But um, if you want to go to our webpage, we do have a web page, which is a beautiful web page. It tells you how the radio station, and if you really look at how the radio station got started and listen to the story, it really was from God. But um, that is www. 
www.cwchrist.com. That is www.cwchrist.com. All right. So you say, hey, I don't want it. And on that on that page now, on that, on that uh, page, you'll see how to get on the radio. If you have somebody that, or your pastor, or you want to be on the radio, look on that page, tell you how to get started. Or if you want to sponsor RPI, RPI is looking for sponsors. Anybody want to sponsor me in the last days, which I know some of y'all probably say I ain't going to sponsor RPI because he always, you know, and I have been told this. You are, when you're going to just, you know, do something feel good, you know, bring some feel good. Sermon. Well, listen, I'm sorry. This ain't Joe Osteen and this definitely ain't a uh, Cliff O'Nickel or none of the rest of those false prophets. In the last days, you're going to get the truth. The whole truth ain't nothing but the truth. And it ain't, ain't so hip. It, it's, it's coming out the word of God. That's where it's coming from. Holy, the scripture, the Bible. That's the only truth that I'm going to give you. I'm not going to give you how I feel or or give you what uh, Reader's Digest or some of these preachers preaching that Hustle Magazine, RPI going to give you straight. So some people say, ah, oh, we don't, you know, you you kind of hard. And, and that's that's fine. You're going to thank me later on, you know, when everything happened. You're like, I'm glad to listen to RPI when you get in heaven or wherever. But I'm just kind of wide open today. Uh, that's what happened when you when you uh, haven't been at radio station. <laughs> Well, they come last week and then you get banned off of uh, Facebook and everything else. I even got a little attack on YouTube, but that's all right. Man, that, that was just a no. I'm excited. I mean, I really am excited. I, I just, like I said, I just feel the glory of God just running through my veins. You know, the power of God. You know, like I just, just go out and just say, be healed and it be healed. You know, not saying I'm better than nobody, but I'm just saying where I feel it. But if you want to go straight to our streaming, which is, uh, WCC.streamon.fm. That is WCC.streamon.fm. Bam. And if you listen tomorrow, around about two o'clock, you try to call in. Sorry, guys, rebroadcast. When I be here, be at work making that money, but I will be back next Tuesday. No, I would not be back next Tuesday. And I'm about to tell you why I would not be back next Tuesday because next week, which is, let's get this going. Next week, I will be at Kingdom of God Ministries International. And that is a organization by Pastor Steve Hall, my brother, my best friend, the one I went to Africa with. We are having a tent revival. And you say, well, wow, y'all, where are you having the tent revival? Well, the tent revival will be in Augusta, Georgia at 1663 Olive Road. That's over there behind uh, T. Georgia High School. Just look for the, the blue and white, the red, blue, and white tent. We will be having service starting Monday, which March will be May 20th through the 25th, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. nightly. Please don't miss this because me and Pastor Steve, well, mostly Pastor Steve, we're bringing the word you know, it is that time where revival need to bring out. And it says, don't don't want to miss the event, especially if you are in need of healing, deliverance, and miracles. We seen that in Africa. And I tell you what, man, we seen the power of God happen like we never seen before. And you know, I want y'all to make plans to come out. That address is 1663-1663 Olive Road. 1663 Olive Road, Augusta, Georgia, 30904. That would be May 20th through the 25th. Your truly will be there. I will be preaching along with my big brother and my best friend, Pastor Steve Hall. He is sponsoring this and um and um not sponsoring, but he would bring in this call Kingdom of God International. That is our um uh, 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 how can I put it? Don't want to say church, but that, that is the ministry that we are using. Will we be traveling all around the United States, wherever God allows to go, to be having tent revival, preaching the word of God? You would not be disappointed. But our first destination will be in Augusta, Georgia. That is 166, 1663 Olive Road. That is high, that, yes, that is behind T.W. Josie High School. So you look back there, you'll see a tent. 7 p.m. Looking for the power of God to move in. Looking for Pastor Steve to bring that word. And I'm excited, man. He asked me to be a part of it. Just like he asked me to be the part, be a part of it 
at Africa. And man, I tell you, that was a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, kind of kind of had to fight some demons off, had some witchcraft thrown on me. Uh, almost got shot at checkpoint. We almost drowned. Um, and oh man, just all kind of stuff happening. But just want to do a little shout out. Like I said, Mary Hannah, we thank you. Minister Johnny Lowe. Man, I thank God for you. Uh, 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 Tanarian McLean. Amen, sister. I thank God for you chiming in. Brother Joe, man, I thank you. Thank all the people that are chiming in on them in the last days. It feels good to have people. You know, when you do radio ministry, you don't get a chance to get a response or people call back. Most of the time, what I talk about is so controversial, people don't even want to call in. And, um, when you, you know, that's why I do enjoy Facebook. You know, I get a chance to see people, uh, you know, oh, amen, praise God, RPI, that's listening. And that is a blessing. I am excited. Was well, going to play this song, but um, I'm going to keep going on. Had to change my theme song. And that's one of the things that I, I'm going to have to uh, work on because <laughs> every time I play something or do something, Facebook always come back with something. Now, had a theme song for going on four or five months, but yet I played YouTube song, which was uh, King and Country. God don't know. They didn't say nothing about that, but they got 53 minutes. So do that. Post stuff. They hit me. Oh, you can't post this. You can't post that. Uh, got one point in time when I w couldn't even get on Facebook and everything I got on wouldn't be posted. So, you know, that don't bother me because they can take that away, but they can't take away YouTube. And they definitely can't take away this radio station. And because we on the internet. So my uh, uh, uh one monkey don't stop a show. And it definitely ain't going to stop my show. What I'm going to talk about today is the rumors of wars. Man, we got so much going on right now in this country. And false doctrine. That's the two biggest things that's going on right now, which one of the many biggest things. A lot of people don't know that how close we are going to war with Iran. Now, for those you don't know, we was giving Iran money, not making nuclear uh, equipment or nuclear, getting uranium to try to get nuclear weapons. They say they need it for energy, but we they we know they're using it for a weapon. And, they are, and, and here's the sad part about it. They wrote a letter they said it, and in the speech, if we give enough uranium, two places we're going to blow the smithereens, Israel and America. So what we do in America, we give, and I, which I don't understand, why were we giving money to people for them to not make uranium? Why don't we just say stop? Hmm. Well, first of all, America got to get themselves together before they go there and tell somebody else, which is true. Some of y'all don't want to believe that. Oh, we say God bless America. No, I say God tell America to repent. Because when you start killing innocent babies, when you push homosexuality, and let's talk about when you push fornication, uh, adultery, all these things. See, and, and I, and I want to say this, and, and I want to be very clear of what I'm saying. Hey, Bill George, my friend, how you doing? Got Thank God for Brother Bill George, who got a show called Reset, and he does the show... Um, Project Seal, you need to check those, check him out. Um, one of the things I'm, I'm learning now, uh, we'll 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 beat the daylight out of, out of homosexuality, which we know is wrong. That is wrong. Hey, the Bible said man and woman, but let's let's not let's let's not forget about the fornicators, the adulterers, uh, the pedophiles, the rapists. We don't want to forget about them. Uh, those who bring discord on the mother. Let, okay, let's go back to rapists i mean uh fornicators we will we'll overlook that i i i um we sit on cut on tv and we'll watch two women uh uh, uh, uh a couple in there laying in the bed the old old sex we ain't got no problem with that but as soon as the homosexuals come on we want to fast forward well we need to fast forward that, that fornication that's what we need to fast forward too not just homosexual we beat them up but at the same time we don't beat up for, uh, we don't beat up the fornicators, the adulterers, and all them. We need to get on them too, because one of the issues that I'm seeing that is happening in America is that we have too many preachers 
messing around and cheating and having sex and they supposed to be a man of God. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to get on about rumors of wars. I'm going to talk about all that. I just want to get this cleared up because, yes, the homosexuals are doing things. Yes, the homosexuals are, are pushing their agenda. But there's a lot of these preachers out here. There's a lot of people out here call themselves Christians, fornicating, living together. You know what I'm saying? Want to, oh, well, I, I, God know my heart. Yes, God know your heart going straight to hell. I notice these things here we, we tend to forget about. We tend to not look at, we tend to ignore. And that is part of uh, sin. I uh, had a guy that was telling me, he said, RPI, why you always talk about sin and fornication? And uh, why don't you just talk about the love of God? That is the love of God. God is telling you what not to do so you won't die and go to hell. That's how much he loves you. And that's how much I love you. It's like you telling your son not to pet that copperhead rattlesnake. I mean, that rattlesnake. You know what I'm saying? But you love him so much, your grandma say, hey, get back over there, son. That's dangerous. But now you're like, well, I don't want to hurt his feelings because he might think I'm trying to get on. And he hit his rattlesnake bite and he dead. That's what you're doing. You're killing your child by letting him pet the snake. And we are right now in a position where we are seeing wars. We are seeing... Uh, 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 um, countries right now america got their hand in so much stuff we it's like we picking fights okay so we about to get out war with iran we over there in venezuela trying to tell them how to run their country and and, and yes we do it do need to get the dictatorship out of there and everything he need to run him out if he's doing wrong then we over here with north korea which they done started shooting off missiles and they are, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then we got this situation going over here with Russia. Now, because this situation that's happening with Iran and America, I mean Mecca, well, it is in Mecca, I, Iran and America and this feud that's going on because Iran has put their um, uh, battleships, which I didn't really know them boogers had battleship, but hey, they got some heavy equipment stuff over there. So what we did, we got our USS Lincoln, um, and we got four B-2 bombers ready to go over there. And Iran said, if America attack us, we will bomb Israel. Okay, well, we already know what Israel going to do because Israel ain't scared. They just got into a little feud, I think, with Hamas and uh, uh, the Palestinians shooting rockets back and forth. And these are the things that are happening in the Bible. You cannot deny that. That's the problem is, you know, People right now, they are so blinded. I mean, it's like they don't care. Uh, it's like, you know, here in America, we live in La La Land. Your, your, your local news, and I'm going to have to hit Fox too. You know, Fox, it's like they either fighting each other or either they trying to, you know, Fox and CNN. It used to be time where they wanted to give the truth. Now they don't, they don't do it. You know, now they want to give you lies. They... You got CNN, they hate Trump, then you got Father Love Trump and all that and everything like that. But no, then, oh, let, and let's talk about, we're going to talk about the situation going on with China with these terrorists, you know. And um, we have storms that are happening in our nation. Now, before I get too far in, in what I'm talking about, I got to bring Bible. I got to bring gospel. Every day when I come to you guys with the radio station, I'm going to hit this Bible where I get one verse because one of the things I'm seeing now, a lot of these preachers are not using Bible. Now, I don't know what kind of book they got up there, but I never seen a Bible look like a notebook. Now, people say, oh, RPI, come on now, man. You, 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 uh, man, you know, he could be writing notes now. And yeah, he better have notes. But I want to see the word of God. You know what sales that are dropping like a fireball? The Bible. Sales are dropping at the Bible. Why? Because everybody get on these smartphones, which these phones are smarter than us because we can't live without them. But these phones can live without us. And Bible sales are going down. Now, with these smartphones, you can, ch you can change wording in the Bible. Word could be changed in the Bible. With these smartphones, you can change wording in the Bible. So, 
Now that's going down. And and I see a lot of these preachers had a little, little thing with Joe Osteen. I posted something. And um, boy, I tell you what, didn't really, didn't really people really defend him. You know, about his riches and cars and all that stuff like that. And everything, which, you know, he does have that, you know, $10 million house, which I don't care what he got. I mean, but the brother ain't preaching truth. The brother preaching false doctrine is not of God. And it's all about money. Because if he was preaching truth, like everybody else, then guess what? A lot of people wouldn't like that. Geno Jennings, uh, first church, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, man preach truth. And they talk about him like a dog. Because why? He says something that hits your nerves. That's what everybody. Now, everybody don't get it right. RPI definitely don't get it right. I make some mistakes. I am human. The only perfect person in this world was Jesus Christ. Why? Because he was the son of God. Not the son of Islam. Not the son of Jehovah Witness. Not the son of uh, Mormon. But the son of God. Every last book that I said, them book is dead and in the grave. Jesus Christ died, went into the grave, went to preach in the prison. So, because couldn't nobody go through Jesus, but through him the third day he rose, came back, talked to Mary, talked to Simon, and he sent it up. But all the rest of them people I said, still dead in the grave. So, if you are, uh, uh, if you are worse than one of them gods, then I'm saying say you're going to hell. Oh, why you got to say that? That's hard. You know what's hard? It's not telling a person they're going to hell when they're going to hell. And when they get to hell, wish somebody had to tell them about hell. That's hard. But, you know, I'm just a man with the Bible. But anyway, let me get on over here. I'm trying to catch up for lost times. Uh, okay, so what the Bible says. Let's go to Luke 21. Verse, uh, let's go down to verse 8. And he said, take heed that you be not deceived, for many shall come in the name saying, I am Christ. And the time draws near. Go not therefore after them. We got so many people. I don't know what's going on with my, my family in Africa. And I have been to Malawi, Africa. We They got so many false prophets that is flocking like I've never seen before. Got one man picking people up, throwing them in chairs. Oh, God say, I, you're going to get here throwing. He actually picking a person up Throwing them in. Thank God it's plastic chairs, not one of them hard chairs, because somebody broke a rib or something. You got another pastor go around kissing. Oh, my, my, the spirit come through my mouth. He go around kissing people. I don't know. He don't kiss them. He kissed all the beautiful women. That's when you know it's flesh, because when grandma got up there, he just sat on her. I don't understand that. But this is what's going on. Now we got one where you take your underwears off and you sling it and you free it. I mean, all kind of craziness. You know, and I've been to Africa, my family Africa, y'all got to get right. And then on top of that, they got this preacher going around and say, okay, I want y'all to beat the devil out of each other because it's so much sin. I want you to beat each other up. These people go around fighting, thinking they beating demons out of each other. They just beating themselves up. They need to beat the demon out of that preacher that told them to do that. But I mean, in Africa, got to go out there and tell you, God said go eat grass. Got people out there like cows. Eating grass. Even got one priest say, God told my feet to hold it. I can't walk on the ground. So who he walks on? The congregation. These are false prophets. Then you got these one in America that got these big houses, big cars. Preach, don't preach truth. You know what I'm saying? Do not preach truth. Joe Osteen is one of them. I don't care if y'all get mad on Facebook and won't. The man is a false teacher and he will pay for what he's doing. When you don't teach the truth, and the sad part about it is that people are running to him because they want something that's going to make them feel good. They don't want to say, if you don't stop fornicating, you're going to hell. If you don't stop uh, 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 living homosexual life, you're going to hell. If you don't, if you tell lies, you're going to, all they want you to do, oh, he all right. God know your heart. Like I said again, God know your heart going to hell. Oh, I know there's some hard talking right here. But man, we are at the end game. I'm actually seeing the word of God being opened and come to life before my very eyes. There are going to be earthquakes that has happened. We have storms that have happened in Nebraska. Floodings. Arkansas. Michigan. 
It's, it's snowing in May. Colorado, it's snowing. Oh, man, it might not be Michigan. Might be Michigan. I don't know. Colorado, it's snowing. Yeah, you mean to tell me, oh, this ain't, this is May. Right now here in Augusta, it's 60 something degrees. I, right now, I would be sitting up here in my house, got the heat, air conditioning blasting. These are the signs. These are judgment. Stop being blind and open up your eyes and see the, the will and the power of God. It tells you in the Bible, don't, don't not be deceived. It, it, it say what? And the time draw near. Go not therefore after them. God is telling you, these are not my, this is not my signature. This is not. The Bible say the sheep know the shepherd voice. God is telling you, you are listening to the wrong voice. That's the voice of Satan. That's not my voice. And he tells you in the bottom of that scripture, I am Christ. No, let's, let's go up. It say for many shall come in my name. Well, they will say, I am Jesus. And they're not. And look what he say. That I am Christ. And the time draws near. That means that, listen, I'm coming. They're going to be love for. And then he say, go not therefore after them. Why we keep running to all these false dead prophets and preachers and bishops and pastors? Why we keep running to them? Why? Now, I'm not telling you not to go to church because the Bible says similar to one another. That means that you have to go to church. But get a relationship with God so you know if these boogers are not of God, you get a discerning spirit. And then you get mad because you gave them all the money. And I get tired of hearing people, I ain't giving them no money. I ain't giving them preachers no money. But yet you give your money to cigarettes. You give it to alcohol. You give it to drugs. You give it to uh, uh, prostitutes. <laughs> yeah, I said that. You go to the strip club. Some of y'all even take y'all money and go up there and go and, and, and give it give it to to uh, 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 Kiloka. Uh, or whatever that lady name that used to read porn readers, all this old foolishness. But you, when, you, when it comes to things of God, you want, especially if you got a pastor preaching truth. But we'll give to everything else. This is false prophet. That's what it is. They will sit there and tell you every. If your preacher in the church sit there and tell you that everything fine, God is good. He, you going to be blessed. And in and, and about an hour, God is getting ready to bless you with a financial blessing of $1,000. Come on, let's all pray. Then you need to get your Bible, get your bag, and run out to church. Because God is not in no prosperity. Now, yes, God is in proper, not that type of prosperity. Means. And we got people sitting in the church. No, this is a, a false word. But yet, because of their flesh, because this makes them feel good. That's why I play that song by Kings and Country. Joy. Joy. Listen to the song. You listen to, watch the news and get joy. Joy is an action. Joy is a feeling. See, when I bought my wife that 07 Dodge Charger, I bought her that brand new off the showroom floor. She was happy. But guess what happened? After a long period of time, the happiness go away. It becomes a vehicle. But see, joy ain't like that. You can have joy and still go through stuff and still have everything fall up, but you can have joy in your heart. Why? Because action, you got to put work to get that joy. And some of y'all sitting here, you listen to me every Tuesday, well, RPI, you kind of hard. You know, you need, man, lighten up for what? The world ain't lighting up. We just have a mayor from New York just got up there and said, listen, let's just go on ahead and just kill him. You know what I'm saying? Sister suicide. Let's go ahead and we need to do that. People that's real sick, Hey, we got a, a mayor for Alabama. That brother said, you kill him now, you kill him then, you send him to the lecture. Children come in this world unwanted, unloved. Your mom would just go ahead and kill him. Well, what I wonder did his mom, how would he feel if mama killed him? Well, you wouldn't feel nothing because he wouldn't be here. But here's the thing they are saying. And they are killing, 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 you right. They are killing innocent babies. That's what they are doing. Here it is. We, the Dow Jones, don't drop. 600 points and it's steady going down but yet oh everything's good god no it's not good it is not good at all we in the terrorists with china 
Okay, so this what it let, let me explain what that means. And if anybody want to come in and help RPI, I don't mind you coming in. The number is 803-335-3131. That is 803-335-3131. So this is what the president doing. And, and you know what? I'm not a big Trump fan, but I, I agree with this, what he's saying. Anytime we do trade, there's called something called tariffs. Tariffs is what we pay to send to our country. Now, in America, when we send stuff to China, I give black like promise and we pay maybe 4%, you know, or tariffs with taxes and all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, because, you know, we want to do good business with them. But when we, China sells something up 35, 40%. That's what we paying. And that is, that is a lot of money. So that means you pay extra money on your stuff. Now, here in China, everything made in China. So we bring everything from China. So here it is. All they want to do is be equal with the money. Let's be right. You know what I'm saying? But this war tariff thing is getting so much out of hand. Why do you think, and somebody had to tell me this, and, and um, go into the stores and see if you see any Sony products. You will not see no Sony pro. I and I went in Walmart and have not seen any Sony. Sony where Sony is made in what China? That's where it's made from. And what is going? They're going back and forth, back and forth. Hey, Trump said, "Hey, we want to get equal money." China said, "No, we give equal money." Back and forth, back and forth. This is what the government does. Back and forth. Now I'm not knocking him from doing that. You know, for equal right, everything, now everything made in America. We depend on so much stuff in China and then some of y'all say well you know what but see that's where your jobs are going because it is cheaper to make a motor in, in Mexico or China they're sending all them jobs over there because they're paying them people two or three dollars an hour you know, and, and they don't have no life I watched a video in China them people stay in the house like they stay in a dog cage and they paying rent for that I mean I'm talking about a dog cage with maybe 45 to maybe 50 people in like a small 1,100 square foot house. This is what they got to deal with over there because they are so overpopulated. The government control them. They have video cameras, not video cameras, surveillance cameras that watch their action, tells them what they like to eat. This is what they're doing over there. But, oh, we want to, oh, no, no. Man, listen, that's what's going on over there. So, now we fight that. Now, let's talk about the storms. You know, and let, 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 me, let me get things reading here because I don't want y'all to get all up mad and upset. Let me see. And then say, look, look, verse, verse nine. But when you shall hear the wars, uh, wars and commotion, be not terrified for these must come to pass, but the end is not yet by and by now oh man so why god say that because god is saying listen because of rebellious nations this is what you're going to hear but the end is not yet you got some people come now come lord come now quick come jesus why are you telling god come now when you ain't ready that's not fair for the other people that want to get right and then the bible said this is not the end so stop saying that if you want to say god God, save the people. Let them get right with you. Give them time to get their heart right with you before you come. Don't be selfish because you're right and not give nobody else a chance to get right. And, and, and I had to get, so I, I had to be told that because every time, oh, Lord, come quick, come now. Lord, no, Lord, don't come now. Let me do this. So listen, the Bible give us a great commission. Give us a great commission to go out, witness, share the gospel. Let, 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 let me let me let me see if I can find that the Acts what Acts said. You know, I know I'm jumping around here and everything and uh and, and uh I think it's uh I think it's Acts two and, and thirty eight. I think that's what it is. Acts two and thirty eight. Or is it Mark? Let's let us let us let us go to Mark seventeen. Let's see if we can get to Mark. Because see some of y'all and yes, yes, you supposed to go to church, but some of y'all need to be out there witnessing. You can't you can't win the souls inside the church. You can't win the soul walking over the homeless man on the street corner. You know what I'm saying? And you say, ill, you need to sit down and, and witness to him. I have done that a lot. I have I, I and I'm gonna tell you something. RPI, when it comes to money, boy, I am stingy. I'm not gonna lie. I am 
very stingy when it comes to money. But, but, but because of now, I want to win souls, RPI spending money. I'm talking about buying people food, doing stuff. I told a man, he said, oh, I'm hungry. Um, if, if I just need, uh, if you can just give me a, a dollar. I said, I tell you what, brother, I'll give you $5 if you give me five minutes of time to preach the gospel with you. I did three minutes. That brother said, I, I got to go. I, I need to go. Apparently, he wasn't that hungry. But that's what I do. And, and when it comes out my money, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm always, you know, budging and all that. Man, when it comes to things, God budget, God the winner. I want to win souls. You know, the Bible said P, uh, P, didn't say P. <laughs> the Bible said feed the poor and needy. That's what we need to do as believers. We don't, we don't do that. What we did, we turned that job over to our government. And now that the government is doing that, guess what they doing? Oh, man, they, they taking control of these folks. Making these folks do all kind of stuff and 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 all that, but that was our job. That was the church job. Well, I had the church. Well, we ain't got the money to do it. It takes money. If you did what the Bible said from the beginning, how that you supposed to operate the church and do what God called you to do, and all that will come in place. All that will come. In, I said all that will come in place. Well, you can't talk. You ain't got no church. You right. I don't have a church, but I do have a mouth. I have. Uh, uh, blood running in my vein and I have a wallet so when I see somebody in need that I know that's in need ain't trying to run no game then I bless them most of the time I buy them son I don't give them money because with all the drugs and stuff going on you don't know it's going to take that money so most of the time I don't unless God himself tells, go, tells me to go to that sister and say oh brother God told me you bless you with this and I have done that and see people break down crying and say you don't know I needed this at a time and I told God Faith. Now, let's 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 go here. Now look what the Bible said right here. Mark 16. And let's start with 15. And he said to them, Go into all the world, preach the gospel in every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be damned. If if these boogers don't know God, they, they're gonna be damned. That means they're going to hell. And look what the Bible said now. Some of us would, well, I want God to show me his power. How God going to show me his power if you don't do what he asked you to do? You just can't sit on your fanny all day and think, okay, and, 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 God, and, and don't say nothing to nobody. Look, look what it says. Look what the Bible said when you do that. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Oh, Lord. They shall speak with new tongues. And they shall take up serpents. And if any, if if they drink any deadly things, it shall not hurt them. They shall be laid. They shall lay hands on the sick, and it shall recover. Some of sitting in the church, waiting for the pastor to call in to preach, so they can get in and preach and lay hands on the sick. But we got all these sick people in the house and on the street corners and nursing homes. Homeless people on the street. If Benny Hinn can get up there and lay hands with all them people in the church and all that, why he couldn't go in the hospital and do that? You know what I'm saying? All these preachers with this so much healing power, they got people laying in the, in the hospital about to die. Once you go in there, no, you got to have a TV screen and got to show, oh, look at my, my spiritual muscle. Look at that. <laughs> Man, listen, that ain't how they operate. That's not how they operate. Man, I don't, I don't went in... The nursing homes. I don't went down street corners. I don't went in the worst of streets. I went in drug infested just to share the gospel. Just to do it. And I seen signs and wonder. I seen people get healed. I seen people get delivered. That's why we doing that revival. That tent revival. Do you know how hard it is to do a tent revival? All the work that you got to do to put a tent revival up. The money that you have to have to run the tent revival, the fuel and gas to run all that stuff. Then you got to get the people to come. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy. Oh, it's not easy. You got to drive down there. You got to stay down there and all that. This is what God is calling us to do. That's what we going to do on over there at 1663 Olive Road. Uh, Augusta, Georgia, 30904, right behind 
right behind uh, uh, Josie, T.W. Josie High School, uh, March 20 through the 25th. We're going to be preaching Jesus. We're not, don't, the, if you're going to come there and expect to have some sugar-coated, candy-coated gospel that's going to make you feel good inside and get you going around like you're high on kite and all that stuff like that, no, nah, baby, we're going to give you the word of God. Because, see, a lot of y'all right now sitting right here disregarding God. If you die right now, where would you go? Some of y'all think hell is a party. Hell is not a party. Hell is, the Bible said, uh, eating the worms and mashing the teeth. The Bible said that hell is, 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 is a mo. I mean, <laughs> Lord Almighty. You want to know what hell is? Go there and stick your hand in the fireplace and, and, and let it sit in there and don't pull it back. Oh, you're going to pull it back. Ain't hell ain't no pulling back. Some of y'all listening to me right now, you're going through things in your life. God is trying to get your attention. If you have people on the street corner, take off, get out the way. And this country is going to get ready to fall into a pit because it's a judgment of God is getting ready to hit this nation because this nation don't want to repent. Y'all get up and, and nobody. All the stuff that this about these abortions, all the stuff about homosexuality, nobody, no mainstream, no mainstream preacher is standing up and saying anything against them. The only two people I know is Billy Graham's son and, and, and Apostle Geno Jennings. And I got to say that because they in the mainstream. And that's sad. But yet we say how much we love God and how much we, we worship God and God is our savior, but we don't take time to spend time to minister to a person about God. Let me, let me, let me go back. Let me go back to Luke. Luke 21. I got to get that out of the way. I don't want y'all to think I'm making this stuff up. And uh, look what it said. And, and, and then, and this, I'm on uh, verse 10. Then says them, nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. Look what 11 say. And great earthquakes shall be in devout places, famines. Woo, we're going to talk about that. And pestilence and fearful sights and great signs Great signs shall there be from heaven. Now, y'all don't know that what happened in Arkansas and all those countries like that, a lot of them countries are foreign land countries. Now, I'm not going to go out there and, and say, I, I, I do know that uh, Arkansas and Nebraska was one of the countries that um, was flooded, Mobile, Alabama, a lot of these countries that are flooded this is where we get our vegetables from. Huh. Now, been, going, been doing some shopping lately and know that prices are extreme. Food prices are high. You know why they high? Because of flooding. If you flood the crops out, they ain't going to grow. Farmers are right now are having a heart. They say that the farmers, people don't know, farmers are committing suicide by a phenomenal rate. And if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me, maybe 65, maybe 65 to 55% farmers committing suicide because they are losing their land. And you know who taking it? Your government. That's what's going on. <laughs> and I'm trying to, I'm laughing because people listen to me and they think I'm crazy. Food prices is going up because of, there's a not enough food. We produce, right now, in America, we we used to produce food. Go out there. We used to have chickens that run around the yard. We used to have cows that that would eat grass. Now, you 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 all your meat and it, and all these recalls on your meat. Why you know why there are so much recalls on the meat? Because if we was doing what God called us to do, we are we are not. Uh, growing cow we producing we putting hormones I even heard one where they are literally um, um, cloning animals make genetic meat to give us I heard now that they able to put rat meat in our food y'all think I'm crazy look at this stuff up now Google Google yeah, Google will lie to you now they will lie to you I ain't gonna say they ain't look this stuff up this, this stuff is happening this stuff is happening but those who serve God, those who live for God, God is going to protect. He's going to keep. That's what's going on. Chickens are not. It takes 
90 days for a chicken, a baby chick to grow to a full grown. They doing it in 30 days. Chickens do not roam outside. Look at your meat and it says outside, on inside, outside. Well, now with this trans Pacific partnership, they ain't probably ain't putting on there. The, all the chickens, when you say, what do you mean by in, out, 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 inside chicken? What do you mean outside? It means the chicken, they go outside. These chickens be in the chicken coop and they do not go outside. They sit there and roam. Half of the chickens' heart, lungs don't even develop. They can barely stand up. Then you got a chicken walk around here looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Then you wonder why your child is 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 12 years old and look like she's 21. And then with all the hormones they put in the food, is making our children grown and it's killing us, giving us cancer. Cancer at a phenomenal rate. Now, not all that contribute to cancer, but it's some things. Oh Lord. And um, I mean, guys. It's, it's, it's getting to a point now where we have to know who God is. They are poisoning our food. Never seen so much recall on so much food because they're, here's the thing. They used to get our chickens be made in America because it's so cheap. They are shipping the chicken to China. They clean them, plug it, and send it back to America. What sense do that make? China had the black, any country that had the black plague, we do not do business with them years ago. Now, plague's pumping everywhere. We got polio disease coming 700 cases out of 22 states in America. That ship, which I found out that was stuck in the sea, that they quarantined a Scientologist ship where all your bit celebrities and all them go on. They don't believe in God, so they get the sign tied with Tom Cruise, which I like Tom Cruise, a good actor, but believing that sign tied and stuff like that. <laughs> where, what you think is happening? You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. Polio, all these diseases that we get, they start to come back with a vengeance. I heard that Zika virus, but see, they don't want to tell you that because they don't want to scare you. Zika virus cranked up. Now, it's overseas, but it's heading to America. What they say, oh, it won't come in. Well, that, that one year it did come to America. What I'm telling you guys is that when you wars are breaking out, this is the Bible talking. This is judgment. Judgment. This is not, um, um, oh, mother. And yeah, listen, and, and this, I want to say this too while I'm on the radio. Stop saying it's mother nature. That's God. Anytime a storm, hurricane, tornado, earthquake, that's not Mother Nature. That is God. G-O-D. God. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the one that's doing this. He is trying to get our attention. America, world, get right. Serve me. I'm here for you. Oh, we don't need you, God. Yeah, we give him the, Y'all give him the finger. I don't. Let's go here because I ain't got much time. Look. And it said, great earthquakes shall be in devout places. Famine, oh, I read that. But before all these shall lay their hand on you. But before all these, they shall lay their hand on you and persecute you, deliver you up into the synagogues and into prison, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Hmm. <laughs> That's part why some of y'all don't want to uh, serve God because you're scared you're going you gonna, to uh, get thrown out there. The Bible says, if you're ashamed to me, I'm ashamed to you. And it shall turn to you for a testimony, selling it therefore in your heart, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which, you shall, which, which all your adversaries shall not be able to uh, gain nor resist. Now look with this. Look, now this is the part that that kind of we seen a lot of, and you shall be betrayed both by parents and brothers, kinfolks, friends, and some of you shall they to be put to death, man, and you shall be hated 
of all men for my name's sake. So, don't be surprised when stuff start happening in your life. I don't see well these two girls killed their mama because mama wouldn't give them their cell phones. I don't seen a boy stab his grandma to death because he grandma wouldn't cook him nothing to eat. You're behind 38 years old and your grandma 70 something years old. You need to get out of the house and get a job. This is what's going on. These what you call demonic spirits. Mothers killing their children. Heard a lady, um, uh, and, and this is the part that you got to be careful. A grown man punched a, a one-month-old baby because of a video game. A video, because he got mad at a video, so he punched the baby. Now, ain't his stepfather, stepchild. This is his blood child that came out of him that nine months and his wife demonic spirits being released demonic spirits attacking y'all we need to get right we need to get right I mean this this is right here this is this is what you call judgment this is what you call a uh, uh, God judgment because what is happening right now because we have rejected Jesus Christ and, and something they said that 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 kind of made me think you know you know they they erased in history you know slavery when when black people was enslaved and how they treated us and beat us and all that and everything and how that you know uh, uh, um, you know Harriet Tubman and all these great black uh leaders that that try you know make it they trying to erase that now saying it didn't happen even what happened with the jews with the holocaust they still on in germany they say that it never happened they, they to this day they say they don't the schools trying to erase history now if they're going to erase slaves or bad people the holocaust again what's what's the next thing they're going to erase the word of god the bible oh god never exists god ain't real you know, and what's going on in our school system, that's why, and, and, and you can, listen, you, you can put your child in a private school all you want. I mean, you can put them in there all day long, all night long. You can put them in private school, but when them children hit the streets and play their friend, they still gonna hear that. My, my kids go to public school and um, I was gonna try to get them to come in today, but uh, I guess they're getting pre-ready for <laughs> being out of school. And they said, well, daddy, we'll do it next week and all that. And, you know, so I'm going to try to get him because that was one of the big response. Oh, RPI, you need to get your, at least once a month, bring your family back. I got more response on what my kids said than what I said, which is fine. I'm glad because what's coming out of me is coming through them because I teach them the word of God. Never, I never cripple my kids. If you don't teach your children the word of God, you crippling them. You, you, you letting them fall into Satanism, homosexuality, uh, uh, fornication. You have, you turn them to different things, sexual patterns. Now they, they getting so bad to special sex ed is now porn. They'll get on a porn show and put it on and say, this is sex. And that's not what God called it to be. Not what it called it to be. They trying to make a bunch of perversion gay satanism gender neutral children these kids are so confused right now to they don't know what they are doing bad enough they took clocks out of school and the po and cursive is not even a rip to take in school no more they took it out now they trying to trying to drop a uh, uh, 67 trying to make 67 a, 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 to a c or a d or, or something like that i mean it's just it's just that we 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 catering to our children when we need to teach the children. And all this stuff that's happened in America and our country, wake up. Stop stop living this so-called dream and thinking that everything is all right. Cause it's not. I mean, 
Man, when I say nations against nations against nations, that's to get religion, Democrat, black and white, civil. Man, if I see any more shooting of these cops shooting these black folks, I, I'm just gonna go crazy. This is getting ridiculous, out of hand. I mean, I know it ain't black folks ain't the only one getting shot. There's a lot of white folks getting shot, but this this social media has pushed that to that's what you think. And there are so many people that is mad. And, and, and the thing is, regardless of the fact, you have to obey the law. And, and, and here's the problem. The reason why the, we have a bunch of rebels, children that don't obey the law, because the parents, they don't obey their parents. The children tell the parents what to do. And that's sad. I mean, racism has an all time. Listen, RPI, like I said, I can talk about racism because I'm not a racist. But racism is high. I mean, I never, I mean, I'm I'm 45 and I have seen, I see more racism push now more than ever. And some people say, well, it's because of Trump and all. No, it ain't because of Trump and all. What it is is your, your heart. You've seen the true colors of your heart. The same thing was like when Barack Obama was in office. But I think it's getting worse with Trump now. I mean, it's like this hatred. I never seen the Democrats. Good God. I mean, the I mean, the Republicans ain't no better, but the Democrats just so demonic. I'm sorry, that but it is what it is. The Republicans ain't no better. They I mean, but I mean, our government system is just totally out of control. I mean, never seen it as out of control. But there is hope. There is hope. And that hope is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible said he's the first, he's the last. So when everything ends, he's still going to be there. Well, my time is about up. Tune in next Tuesday at 7 p.m. on In the Last Days.